Torca says, Cantabria, Spain. Esta cueva, this cave, um, was just found in 2009. Uh, it's like 50 meters from some cow pasture through the trees. You can hear the cows dinging their bells. And that farm has been there for like centuries. It's amazing that they just found this. Uh, a couple of French cavers, I think. So there's three kilometers of passage, heavily decorated. The entrance pitch is vertical. Um, and then shortly after this one, there's another vertical pitch. So we've tied our anchor. Uh, we're gonna be rappelling in and see what we can find in Torca Sez. All right, so we're rappelling in. This first pitch is not so big, but right after it, there's another one. Um, and we're gonna do a rebelay with the rope of some sort here, uh, pending what we find. Down we go. We're in something of a gallery now. It's not exactly tight, um, but it is the tightest part of the cave. And it continues through this hallway. There's air blowing on my face. Um, and between that and the map, I know that it's about to open up into something bigger. So we just reached an intersection. Um, and the description we're using to navigate this cave said that when the first explorers came in here in 2009, they described this as El, Muye uh, El Museo de Singular Belleza, a museum of just really unique beauty. This is insane. Look at this. This section is called the capilla, like the, the chapel, the pulpit, something like that. You can see all the formations reaching up to the roof. We just arrived at a section called el derrumbe, um, like the, the slide, the landslide, the rock slide. Uh, it's this actually really small room where rocks have kind of slid down uh, it is adorned with some cool formations. Look at this organ pipe type thing. Hanging down. We're in the Pasillo de Sandra. This is like a perfectly human sized uh, passage that continues with a few intersections. Um, decorated with some sparse and, and really neat formations. We just climbed out of Torca Sez um, after a few hours inside. It's awesome. It's a little cave. It's not dramatic. Uh, it's not like the other caves in this area. There's no big hallways. Uh, there's no enormous intersections, nor are there gigantic formations. It's kind of like a miniature cave, uh, which is why it's so special. This has been an amazing experience and we look forward to continuing to explore the caves of Cantabria.